All right, what's going on everybody? So E3 is obviously over and I'm back home, but I wanted to expand on my experience that I had at E3 and tell y'all just how my day four and my the final day, which will be day five, which I'm gonna do another video on. Just gonna tell you how it went and what my future E3 plans are in this video. So God willing, I'm hoping to go to every E3 um, from now on, because like I said, if you're a gamer, it's an experience that you should definitely have so next year i plan to take a little crew with me um cookie monster some of you may know him if you don't go check out his channel and uh three minute gamer ricky some of you may know him too the links will be in the description and you know they're cool um guys that i know and everything and because i believe once you uh reach a certain platform and you experience something you should put the people you know on because i feel like there's no reason that all all the people like us should should be limited to only the capacity on YouTube. There's no reason that people like me and them should just be viewing all of those people who make it to that E3 experience in LA. There's there, there's no difference between like uh, us and them, right? Where we we look at them and and that stage and 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 that that capacity like it's something that we that we can't reach when we definitely can. Sometimes we mentally limit ourselves and the space that we are on YouTube, the people that we are around limit our minds to, to get to thinking like that, that we can't, that there isn't more out there that we can explore. We can't reach somewhere. So that's my whole thing. While I'm like, I want to take, I want to take them with me and everything. Um, you know, I want to put them on, let them experience what I experience. And, you know, I encourage, I'm trying to encourage more and more YouTubers to, uh, you know, that I know that I associate on here to get to E3. I want to I want to help them get to E3. I believe, you know, in putting people on. Um Cookie, uh like I said, Ricky, um a Abel, uh Abel, y'all yeah, know Abel Green, Chase. I don't know if Chase ever been to an E3, but you know, I encourage I'm encouraging all of them. Everybody. Yeah, we need to get to E3 in Groves. We need to be out there, man, to network, meet people in the industry, uh have fun, see a different atmosphere, meet other gamers. Just everything like that right have that type of access so you know that that's my um plans for next year e3 i plan to have uh, a few uh, a little bit improvement in equipment and everything like that and presentation i'm going to do uh, things a little bit better because like i said this was short notice and i still was able to make certain things happen but next year i want to do it bigger and better because one of the the things that one of the challenges that presents itself is there's so much to cover and I'm pretty much one person, right? So there's like games to be, there's three days and there's games to be played. There's interviews to be done. And within each day, you have like maybe seven hours and those seven hours could go quick. So I'm trying to provide y'all with interviews from these different people selling these different products and services, but I'm also trying to give y'all game coverage. And I'm also trying to give y'all walk. I'm trying to do all these different type of videos at E3 and I'm one person so you know that definitely presented a, a challenge so going with a crew might make that easy might make it easier it's still going to be a challenge and you know just being organized and everything that I learned from it, this E3 uh, you know I, I plan to do it bigger and better so going into day four of E3 I did a lot more networking than I did in the first day. First day, you know, I played some games, wanted to get some game coverage. The second day, I did more networking. And the last day, I did even more networking because that's an important part uh, of going out there. You want to make connections because that's how you move up. That's how you, you know, gain access to certain things. You you get things through people, right? That's That's how you move up. You can't do it without working with people that's just how it is that that applies to everything in life but a couple people i met i met david jaffe one of my favorite developers you know creator of god of war uh twisted metal um the, his newest game uh drawn to death so he he's he's the coolest guy on earth like he's he's real chill he uh, certain part what i like the what i like about david jaffe so much is certain parts of him remind me of myself in the way that i'm not afraid and he's not afraid to say anything Right. He doesn't care how many people he pisses off. He's very vocal. And I'm the same way. And I've gotten backlash for saying for not being politically correct, not not biting my tongue. I say whatever y'all want. Y'all know me. Right. Like, to be like that. And he's the same way. But he's cool to the people 
who were cool to him. Very personal guy. And, you know, I just walked up on him. Um, we st we struck a conversation, you know, talking talking it up and everything like that. Took a picture, and he was just real chill. You know, he, he's very accessible, very approachable. Real cool guy. So I met him. Also met Nick Scarpino uh, from formerly of IGN, now in the Funny Games crew. I met Adam Sessler. I'm probably going to put pictures up. Um, Kanye West was at E3, for those of you who didn't know. And I lied to you not. I walked within... I'm a huge Kanye West fan. People... I, re, I relate to all the assholes in the industry. David Jaffe, Kanye... In all industries, I like the guy that that's the jerk. Because I'm the jerk. Right? So I relate to them. I like them. So Kanye West is one of my favorite artists. If not the... my If not my favorite artist. Um, and I literally walked within a few feet of him. And, you know, Kanye hates paparazzi. He hates when people run up on him. So I didn't, and so he had his hood on. He was walking around with a black hood, and I was with my girl Lisa. And she noticed him, but didn't, but she was on the phone and didn't really alert me to, hey, that was Kanye. So she said hi to Kanye. She's not even a Kanye fan like that. She said hi to Kanye, right? I'm ahead of her. She claims she called me like, hey, that's Kanye, but she was on the phone. So she probably was saying it real low and we were uh, preoccupied because we were heading somewhere. So damn near Kanye, after Kanye walks way past us, she like, you know, that was Kanye, right? And I'm like, you know, I'm the biggest Kanye fan in the world. And you just let this man walk past me. Now, I wasn't going to run up on the dude and act like a little girl or nothing, but I was going to be like, oh, what up, Kanye? Can, yeah, I was going to ask for a picture because Kanye my favorite artist. I'm not going to act like a, like like I said, I'm not going to I'm not going to act like a fanatic, but I'm going to ask him, like, yo, I can get a picture. And the opportunity's just gone. But yeah, Kanye West was at E3. Didn't, I, I like, I walked literally within a few feet of the guy. Um, you know, he was trying to be low-key with the hoodie on and everything like that. Yeah. Tyga was also at E3. I never saw him. I met, uh... Fury, uh, play, the editor, creator of Player Essence, I believe. Um, Y'all might know him as Furious Francis. You know, did a video with him, uh, t talked with him a little bit, you know, cool guy. Um, so blue microphones are, many of you may know blue products. They made the Blue Yeti and the Blue Snowball microphone. I actually have both of them sitting right in front of me. That's what I'm recording this video with. And they're actually working on headphones. They are what some of the most amazing, crispiest, deepest, richest sounding headphones I've ever heard. Because they have these headphones and they're not directly for gaming. They're kind of, I spoke to the, I believe she was the, I got her card. She was the marketing manager, I believe. And they're, they're like heading in, into the gaming atmosphere. But these headphones weren't made for gaming. They just, they, it's just headphones that were really for listening to music, but they tried them out with games and it sounded so good. It sounded amazing. So it's possible that Blue Mic Blue Microphones, the company, they, they might get into making gaming headsets. I was speaking with her. I was giving, I, we was telling her they need to do this and make the headphones just like this. So that might be something you see in the future. Um... I, I, I saw I, that Twitch had a booth. I, you know, chopped it up, talked with some Twitch representatives, gave them my card. Every Pretty much everybody I talked to, I gave them my card. That's how you do it. That's how you network. That's how you connect. Um, YouTube, I tried out the YouTube, the YouTube app that's supposed to be rivaling Twitch. Trust me, it won't be rivaling Twitch no time soon. It lacks complete customization. It's pretty much, it, it's, it's, it's uh, pretty bare bones. And it's, all it's good for is if you actually want to watch somebody um streaming from youtube there's no customization you don't got the custom emotes like twitch has you know the layout it, it doesn't have no customization that's why people that's what people love about twitch so much that's why viewers come there because you know it, it has that interactiveness and that customization youtube uh app doesn't have that yeah it, it won't be rivaling twitch um, so I'm not even concerned about switching over to YouTube now. I'm going to keep live streaming on Twitch. Played Star Wars Battlefront. That was great. I spoke about that in another video. Um, I talked to Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach actually, uh, they actually have, I believe it's the only three wire, truly wireless headsets 
for the Xbox One. As most of you know, there's a lot of headsets that claim they are wireless for the Xbox One, but you still have to connect them to the controller. That's not wireless. I meant to make a video on that, by the way, and complain about that false advertisement. But that I think Astro does that. They call it wireless when it's not actually wireless. Turtle Beach has three headsets where you literally do not have to connect it to anything, right? So I I spoke to a representative about that. They're the only three. I, they, they have three headsets. They're the only company that has them. More probably will be made by other companies, but I think Turtle Beach is the only one right now. Uh, I met with Plantronics, talked, talked it up with them about their headsets and accessories, uh, played Gears Ultimate Edition, tried out the Elite Controller, Poke headsets, um, game monitors, talked it up with all these different companies and their, their electronics. So it's, it, yeah, that's pretty much how day four went, giving out my card to all these different companies, uh, you know, talking with them about their products, met a whole bunch of industry people, learned a lot of things. Yeah, that's kind of how it went. Uh, just wanted to share that with y'all. So yeah, that, that was pretty much my day four. Um, my last video, and I'm going to talk about my overall, I guess, experience uh, in, in day five. So thank y'all for watching. Just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.